probably need to talk about um, the fact that don't demonstrate if you're no good. If we go back to if we go back to not being an elite performer, um, that's probably something to talk about. So um, basically, as a uh, if, if you're looking to have a demonstration model for athletes and you were not an elite performer, and in a sport where I am with athletics, where there's four throwing events, you wouldn't have been an elite performer in all of those events anyway. So therefore you need to look at the fact that um, if you're not going to provide a perfect example in a demonstration, go and find either someone who can do that or use some sort of video or something that you have available to you because in general kids in particular are really good at copying. So if you're going to give them a poor demonstration, what you're going to end up with is a group of poor athletes copying the poor demonstration. If there's something that's really difficult to explain with words, um, a particular action that really the best way to show them is by me actually getting out on the bike, then I feel like I have a great advantage that I am still on the bike and I can show them particular ways of doing things rather than explain it with words, especially because there are so many different people that have different learning styles. Some people are very visual, some people um, uh, learn by practically doing things, some people learn by um, hearing um, the explanation and particularly how to do each thing um, with a, a, a very detailed explanation and some other people just want to know overall what they're going to be doing and they just get in there and do it. So to be able to cater for all those different styles in, in a session can be tricky because it takes up extra time but you at least then know that everyone knows what they, what they need to do.